Ah, here we go. On the same page, two greats from very different cultures. Conrado Marrero, the first Cuban and one of the first Latino players in the modern Major League Baseball League. And of course, Sandy Koufax, not only a great player, but a hero to the Jews. And this is his rookie card, 1956, or 55 rather, and look at the suit he's wearing, which allegedly was given to him by his grandma for his bar mitzvah. Hello, I'm Ken Schneider. I am the co-producer and director of Havana Curveball, along with Marsha Jarmel, who's not in the frame, but was very much an equal partner in the making of that film. And Havana Curveball is rooted both in uh, personal and kind of a political and in a baseball history of the 20th century. And the baseball history goes way back because it's a sport that was shared, uh, love of the sport was shared by both cultures going back to apparently the 1880s where it's remained a, a game which they've loved for the past 120 years and compete very well. They punch above their weight in international competitions. And we came to the story of Havana Curveball through more of a personal journey. My father, Herb, was a refugee from Vienna, Austria in 1941. Uh, was unable to find refuge in the U.S. where some of his relatives were, but uh, President Roosevelt closed the doors to not only the Jews, but to any refugees and immigrants seeking a home after Pearl Harbor. So dad, my grandma, and uh, her mother, who was very sick at the time, spent several years in Havana, Cuba, where dad, among other things, played baseball with the Cuban youth, uh, learned Spanish, which was his second language after German, and became part of what was then a small but vibrant Jewish community in Havana. They stayed there for several years, and finally when the U.S. reopened its borders, uh, my family, the family that remained, uh, from the Shoah, from the Holocaust, my dad, my grandma, and great-grandma came to the U.S. They arrived in New York, and my great-grandma quickly passed. She lived long enough to see them safely ashore in the U.S. Dad and grandma joined our other surviving relatives, and dad grew up in Washington Heights in New York, on 156 in Amsterdam, to be specific. Fast forward about... 40 years, 35 years, and my son, Micah, my father's grandson, wanted very much to pay a debt of gratitude to the country that saved his grandpa's life. Micah and my grandpa were connected, they had a good connection. And Micah decided in the with the exuberance of a 13-year-old that he would collect baseball gear, a game that Micah, myself, and my father love, and donated to youth in Cuba. And that was really the seed of what became the documentary Havana Curveball, which follows Micah's sort of coming-of-age journey in the context of trying to do this this positive thing for, for Cuba, which um, turned out to be much more complicated than Micah thought, and turns out to be a film about the difficulty of doing good. Enjoy the film and also enjoy a few other trinkets I have for you to show today. In preparing for our production journey to Cuba, I prepared a bunch of baseball cards. I went deep into my collection. Tita Fuentes, who played for the Giants and still announces the Giants games in Spanish to Spanish language listeners and fans. Zoya Liversalis, who won the MVP that year in 67 or maybe 66, I believe. Luis Tiant, who actually went to Cuba in the 70s as a visitor. Tony Perez, his original name was Anastasio Perez. He anglicized it to play in the league. And, you know, I have to confess, it's a little harder to find Jewish ball players, but not impossible. I mined my collection for that one too and found a couple for you. Ken Holtzman. And here, of course, is Sandy again. And Sandy Koufax, a, a hero to us. He boldly stated that he would not play in the World Series on Yom Kippur. Now, of course, the manager was able to tweeze the rotation a little bit so he could play the day after Yom Kippur, but still it felt like a real moment that Sandy stood up and said that his Jewish culture was more important than baseball that one day. The Sherry brothers, Larry and Norm, Richie Hebner, Bo Belinsky, the hard-throwing alcoholic. There's Norm and Larry together. 
And a couple more Cubans for you, a little more recent. Um, Bert Campaneris for you Oakland fans. Atanasio Perez again. Tony Oliva, the great, uh, very consistent hitter. And turn back the clock. So enjoy Havana Curveball. And I hope you all are weathering this uh, corona storm and staying home and having good family time. Celebrating the holidays, celebrating your families, celebrating your culture. Cheers.